Hey, everybody. As you may remember, uh, just a few days ago, John and I were talking about some tips for taking some time off trading during the holidays. Well, at the end of that, we also did mention we're going to talk about reading a book by the fire, or as John said, getting a nice audible book. Um, yes. Well, today we're going to actually kind of give you some books that we like to read, not necessarily just trading books, but books that really kind of revolve or things that we've really enjoyed that may have helped us with trading just a little bit. So, John, you're a big reader. You got a plethora of books you're always talking about. So why don't you kick it off here for us? All right. Well, I'm going to start it off with uh, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Um, it's really about creating what he does is he 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 has you kind of create a keystone habit to change habits around that keystone habit if you let's say you have a difficult time maintaining a habit of of exercise there is he there is a, a a keystone habit that you put in place to keep you in developing that habit it's really a good book it's a long it's a little bit of a long book um i've read it uh, I'm planning on reading it again. It's one of those books that I'm sure that there's a lot that I missed the first time through, but it's definitely one that I recommend for anybody who is, you know, trying to create good decision making or good trading habits. That's awesome. John. And it's not even about trading. It's funny how that works. My first one too. Um, it's not about trading whatsoever. It's called Warriors Ethos by Stephen Pressfield. Um, one of the more influential books I've ever read in my life. I think it's about 90 pages. Um, and when I first was in the, the military in the Marine Corps and uh, working in my martial arts, I had a martial arts instructor that made us read this entire book two or three times front to back before he allowed it to teach us any sort of um, techniques. And what it is, is it's trying to understand who you are as a warrior. Um, it helps you control certain emotions, understanding your emotions, which is really one of the hardest things to do in trading. A lot of people have asked me being in the military, how you guys are emotionless, you have crazy discipline. It's hard to explain, um, but this book tries to try and teach that and explain that a little bit. It's that mindset of just because you can do something doesn't mean you have to. And that's why I really enjoy this book. Awesome, awesome. Well. The next book I was going to talk about, I actually took off the list, but after hearing you talk about that that book, <laughs> this is a book that was actually given to me by Michael Patak. It's it's called um, Positive Intelligence by Shirzad Sharmin, I think is the way it's is it's pronounced, uh, and it really does a good job of when whenever we are trading. And this job is this book is again not about trading; it's about managing your inner dialogue we all seem to have these inner dialogues especially when things aren't going well that are telling us we're not good enough smart enough handsome enough we're not we can't do this all of those inner dialogues this book gives real exercises on being able to quiet those voices they call those voices in this book they call them saboteurs and we all have them to one degree or another the more you work the system in this book the less you're going to hear from your saboteurs. They're always going to be there. You're just going to hear from them a lot less. So that book, again, Positive Intelligence, very good book. Oh, that sounds awesome, John. Uh, I'll follow this one up for me with another uh, military-style book. Um, obviously, I spent uh, a large chunk of my life in the military, so I happen to keep falling back into these books. And this one comes from an author um, named Kyle Carpenter. He is the youngest living Marine uh, Medal of Honor recipient um, in the book is called You're Worth It, a life worth uh, building a life worth fighting for. Um, he was blown up by a grenade after save, while trying to save his friend's life. Um, wow. He went through quite a bit of tragedy uh, during that time and made it out on the other side. Um, it's an incredible story. It's not just about his time in the military, but it talks about his life. And I think it's one of those things in trading, we find ourselves feeling like we just keep getting kicked and knocked down and knocked down. And uh, his is a story about how he continuously got knocked down and kept moving forward. It's kind of like that line from Rocky, uh, I wanna say Rocky Six. It's not about how hard you get hit, but it's how hard you 
can get hit and keep moving forward. Um, and it's a book just along those lines. I really, really have enjoyed this book. Um, and I highly recommend it to everyone. What's the name of that book again? I got to write that down. <laughs> you are worth it. Building a life worth fighting for by Kyle Carpenter. I like it. I'm going to get that one. All right. Uh, the next one, this is another book that I have read and it's probably one that a lot of people haven't heard of, haven't read. It was a really good book. It was, um, you know, at a, at a point in change in my life where I was um, really kind of fearful about what was going to happen to me next. And the name of the book is called Life Unlocked. And uh, it's by, uh, if I can pronounce the name right, it's <laughs> Servicean Palais, MD. Now, this book goes through uh in in as much layman's terms as he can how the uh the mind and the brain works in and around fear if you can get control of your fear face your fears and succeed against your fears you won't have those fears anymore you start taking down little fears and you continue to keep uh keep taking down bigger and bigger fears this is where i really kind of learned about how Fear is not necessarily uh, consciously thought of. It's the lizard brain. It's the amygdala that um, that that keeps us on our toes and protects us. But in a lot of ways, it may keep us from doing the things that we need to do to improve our lives. And this book, Life Unlocked, is one I would recommend. Again, not a trading book, not a novel, uh, but something that you can certainly take something from. It's a really pretty good book. That's awesome, John. Thanks for that one. The next one. I'm going to talk about um, if you're from Chicago, you've probably read the book and seen the movie. Um, it's about acceptance, continuing to push forward in the face of adversity. Brian's Song uh, by William Blinn. I don't think you need much more than that. It is a true time-honored classic book and movie, um, especially for us Chicagoans. I truly love that book. I'm all about motivation. Um, the Marine Corps, we have a saying, um, even if it's false motivation, it's still motivation. And if you can do that and you can continue to have that motivation to continue to push forward, no matter what obstacles come in your way, um, I think you can apply those principles to trading just as much and uh, everything else in your life. Awesome. Uh, one last book that I want to mention. It's not a book that I was on my radar. It's a book my wife brought home and she's been planning on reading it. And it's one that I have not read yet, but I'm looking forward to reading. It's called Permission to Screw Up. Oh, I like that. We all we all need that permission. We try, we try so hard not to screw up. We tried so we all try so hard for perfection and it's just not possible. I'm looking forward to reading this book because it seems like it's going to go a long way to help me and whoever reads it to forgive themselves for the mistakes that they have made and, and to help them move forward to overcome those mistakes. Sounds like an awesome one, John. I have one last one. It is a trading book. Um, it's not so much a futures book, but it is my start into this industry. Um, it's called uh, Options and Option Volatility and Pricing by Sheldon Nattenberg. Um, the first day I showed up to really start trading my father looked at me and said all right you're on the floor here's your book go upstairs and start reading yeah and that's a real that's a real page turner isn't it Dan? oh it's a very dry book and i think i probably read it front to back five or six different times i have three or four different copies now all noted up um i got the first copy was my dad's and uh, he very quickly took that back from me after he made me order my own um and to this day that's what kind of got me into the industry and uh, haven't looked back since. One thing I recommend about that book, if you're going to be reading it this holiday season, take two weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was my job for about a full week to read that book front to back and notes. And he was hitting me with pop quizzes. And uh, it was the only book he ever read for trading. And, what else uh, What else do you need? Right? So. <laughs> Well, awesome. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go read a couple of Peanuts books now and see what Charlie Brown and Snoopy are up to. Sounds great. Everybody, have a great weekend. Have a great holiday. Enjoy the rest of your year. Um, from all of us here at Top Step, take care. Have a great holiday. Have a good one. Trade well. <laughs>